Hey guys, Frequency Row Radio, back with another interesting news story. Check out the clip about how luxury brands <laughs> charge a markup of 500 or more percent for things that are relatively cheap to make. And I'll be back at the end with my commentary. The luxury giants, they do it to make more money. You have a Dior bag on your wish list. Maybe the book tote or the classic Lady Dior. But here's something you should know before you buy it. Dior pays its suppliers $57 per handbag. How much do they sell them for? A whopping $2,800. That's almost 50 times more. Even if you consider the price of leather, it won't be any better. This was revealed in a sweeping investigation by Italian prosecutors. They looked into Dior's third-party suppliers and here's what they found. The luxury brand exploited workers. It did not check working conditions of its contracting employees. In one facility, workers were found sleeping inside. Why? So that bags could be produced around the clock. Most of these workers were from China. Some of them were living in Italy illegally. Plus, safety rules were regularly exploited. In these factories, safety devices for gluing the bags were removed so that the workers could operate them faster. But it's not just Dior who's guilty of this, so is Armani. Armani paid its contractors $99 for a bag. And how much did they sell it for? Almost $1,900. Now, both these companies are under scrutiny. They have been placed under judicial administration for a year. But it's not just a Dior or Armani phenomenon. This is happening across the fashion industry. Violating labor laws is a staple for luxury giants. They do it to make more money. People are mistreated, rules are flouted, there are no safety precautions. And those Italian leather handbags that you're so proud of are most probably made in China. So what then justifies the ridiculous cost? Well, there are a few reasons, and none of it is linked to superior quality. One is the brand reputation. The bigger the name, the more the number of zeros on the price tag. Think Dior, Hermes and Chanel. Then comes scarcity, and it's a great marketing tactic. The lesser goods you produce, the higher the price. You create a situation where these bags are not easily accessible, so consumers will do anything to buy them. So you're not just paying for the bag, but for the brand name and the status that comes with it. It all comes down to human psychology. A luxury good is a non-essential product. Consumers can live without them. But the satisfaction of owning a luxury good is a motivator. Luxury goods are often attached to a sense of accomplishment, a feeling that you have made it in life, and that's why people scramble to get a hold of them. But consumers err in thinking that a higher price means better quality. That's almost never the case. It's no secret that luxury handbags are overpriced. Almost a five-time markup is common. This is used to cover the operational costs. But inflating the price by 50 times is daylight robbery. Luxury brands are preying on people's sense of insecurity and need for social validation. So that news story was from First Post. Check them out on their YouTube channel. The video is just being used for education, news and commentary purposes. And I just thought it was interesting and and think that it should be more widespread news and people should know that the brands that they're paying 500% markup or more markups for are really made out of relatively cheap materials with cheap labor. I mean, the most expensive materials you can get are what? Leather, silk, cashmere, and even getting the cow, the hide right off of the cow from the farm. And, um, you know, working on that material to make it leather isn't going to cost you five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars twenty eight hundred dollars so it's literally a ripoff and just a status symbol for people to be able to show or say they can afford certain brands and i feel like for certain people for certain cultures who those brands don't even consider or wouldn't even choose to have you wear their things it's really a ripoff and um i don't know if it's getting older and getting wiser or just having common sense to know that those things aren't worth paying for and you don't need them to prove that you're at a certain status symbol. Because if you have money, you have money. And if you don't, you don't. But um, for a long time, we've been of culture obsessed with luxury brands and expensive things, which everybody wants something nice. So it's a double-edged sword because you don't want to be a label whore. But 
everybody likes nice things, but I think it's important that we don't strive for these things because they truly are not worth it. And it's literally nothing other than a status symbol or a class symbol, which at the end of the day, a lot of people probably really can't afford and they're skipping a bill. A lot of regular people can't afford and you're skipping a bill just to be able to pay for those things. And I've never really been a label whore person. I like nice things. I like um, kind of the mid brands like the DKNYs, you know, things like that. But I'm still going to stop shopping my stores like your Marshalls, your TJ Maxx's, your Ross's and things like that as well. I think it's good to have a mix of everything, but definitely don't stress yourself out over Louis Vuitton, Chanel's or anything else because they are literally ripping you off. Thanks for listening. And until next time, it's Frequency Real Radio over and out.